Hi everyone, it's Dashabella and Finch in high definition and welcome back to Star Equestrian. So if you are kind of wondering like why to say high definition, I am back home, I'm on my gaming computer, we are literally playing on ultra graphics again and I kind of didn't realize how big the difference was between playing on high graphics and playing on, I think it was medium graphics on the laptop. Definitely prefer the ultra high graphics. Star Equestria in general is just super, super pretty game. Uh, by the way, this is not my house. I just parked here because this house is just super, super gorgeous. I kind of wish my house looked like this, but yeah, it kind of doesn't. But it's good to see you guys again. And I do have a couple things that I want to kind of talk about before we jump into today's video. So firstly, so excited for this one, guys. We hit 1,000 subscribers on the channel, and I cannot believe, I really can't believe that we hit 1,000 subscribers this early in the year. It's only April, and I think I started the year with something like 250 subscribers. So just to have such a massive jump since then, it has been an incredible experience, guys. I want to tell each and every one of you, whether you are or aren't subscribed, thank you so much for watching my videos, for leaving comments, for liking them as well. It's just, yeah, I really never expected I would receive so much support on my YouTube channel. And I've been hanging out with some of you guys in Star Equestrian as well. And oh my gosh, you, you all are just so lovely anyone that missed out I held a ranch party at my ranch and we had so many people there I didn't take any screenshots and I feel so silly that I didn't but there were just so many people there who were talking in global chat and it was just lovely to meet you guys so to anyone that was there and you're watching that video thanks for coming it was really 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 fun and I'm just so grateful to be part of a community where everyone is just so lovely I have played so many games and normally for those games I don't really make myself like known in any, any other communities not as like a YouTuber or anything but I just don't really talk to people online there are there are a lot of nasty people and people that just I don't know they want to see you fall and to, to not see this at all in Star Equestrian I mean you guys are lovely continue to be the wonderful people that you are and if we haven't met in game, don't worry, I am online like a lot of the time and I'm always going to be racing. So if you log in and you just check any of like the racing areas, I might be there just sort of camping for the next race. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all so much for supporting the channel. I love you guys so much. I'm so excited to bring more equestrian video game equestrian content to all of you. Okay, so there was a announcement today from Foxy. So Foxy released a brand new trailer on their Facebook page. I don't know if the video is now on their YouTube channel. It wasn't when I originally saw this, but the trailer showcased the pets that are coming to the game. And it actually showed us two extra pets that are gonna be coming. So originally they teased the cat and the puppy, but now we've got two more additional pets coming to the game. So the pets in question, as I said, we have the puppy and the cat, but now we also have a golden retriever and a goat. So we have four types of pets in the game. So excited. And I'm going to be honest, guys, the goat is super, super adorable. I thought I was going to get a cat, but after seeing that goat, I'm just like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I need to have a small army of goats chasing after my pets. And yes, when I say army, the trailer showcased multiple pets actually following you around. So I think it only showed two pets or maybe it was three. I don't remember it off the top of my head anymore, but it did showcase somebody riding around with the golden retriever and the puppy at the same time. So we are going to have the ability to ride around with our pets. So I'm really excited to see pets come through. Um, and if you want to be involved as well, guys, I did post a community post on my YouTube channel. I've actually opened up a poll to all of you guys to vote which pet you like the most. So if you want to be involved, go share your opinion on that poll. Like, vote which pet you're going to be picking if you are allowed to pick a pet. And tell me why in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts. And uh, if you want to know my opinion, it's, it's kind of obvious. I'm probably going to be getting a goat. Um, at least one. 
I'm just hoping... I'm just a little bit worried about this, guys. I'm hoping that these pets are not VIP exclusive. Because with the Pegasi, all of us thought that the Pegasi will be available to everybody. But then we saw that all of a sudden it was locked behind VIP and 4,000 gems. So I'm really curious to know what's happening with the pets. Are the pets going to be VIP only? Are they going to be gem locked? Are we going to be able to buy them with gold coins? I would love it if we actually had more things to buy with our gold. Because at the moment, like all the good stuff... Is behind gems and and gems already is just so hard to earn not just for a free-to-play player but even vips like we don't get a lot of gems and a lot of the gem stuff in the game is already just super pricey so fingers crossed and also i would love if the pets actually served a purpose because at the moment in the trailer it showcased a lot of like animations of the pets just doing their own thing and interacting with each other but it didn't really showcase anything like the pets doing stuff for us when we took them out for rides. So, for example, I was kind of hoping that if we ride around with the pets, maybe they can help us pick up resources. So if we ride near, let's say, a piece of lettuce, our puppy or our dog would be able to fetch that piece of lettuce for us so that we don't have to just, you know, run over there and do it ourselves. I, I would love to have some kind of utility for these pets because at the moment they definitely just look like cosmetic pieces. So something to think about, would love to see that for the pets, but I am excited. I want a goat, I really do. Just look at that face. <gasps> okay, so next thing. Since I wasn't able to, I guess, like play properly, there have been a lot of new additions to my stable that I want to introduce you guys to because, yeah, I don't think I ever introduced some of these horses. Some of them are brand new. I think some of them might be like two weeks old and I may have forgotten to introduce them. So I do want you guys to meet some of my new horses. And one of them was really, really pretty. I'm, I have to say, guys, did not expect to get this horse at all. So for my racing chest earlier this week. And yes, if you're wondering, I think I got a top 10 racing chest. I didn't manage to make top three, but I did sit in top 10. N, I think and I got a brand new Frisian sport horse so I've named this horse milk drop because look at this region so it has splash and I looked at this region for a bit and I'm like hang on a minute is this a royal Frisian because I have never seen this coat before and I'm of the opinion that this actually just might be one of the random coats for the Frisians and guys, I have to say, this is a incredibly pretty horse. And uh, it should be pretty obvious as to why I named it Milk Drop. Um, I, did, I think I did change the main color. So the original color for the main, it's gray, I think. Yeah, so it was gray. Um, I changed it white because I could, I could dye my Frisian Sport Horse's manes and tails because of mastery. And I kind of felt like the white suited it a little bit more. It just... It's kind of nice to see like having the top half sort of being white and then the bottom half being black. But the coat, look at the detailing on the coat. So, so beautiful. Like someone put a lot of effort into making sure that this coat just looks really, really good. So I am super happy with this Frisian Sport. I don't know if I'm going to ride this horse because like I've, I've said this so many times. I ride and I'm training so many horses right now. It's actually really difficult for me to be able to just like add more horses to my training regime. Uh, I'm technically training three horses, although in particular, I'm focusing on Finch because her stats are not quite where I want it to be for competitions. Um, but yeah, maybe Milk Drop will be a permanent part of my competition group. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure as of, as of yet. But I have to say really really big fan of this Frisian sport now on top of the Frisian sport I also got a new shire and I think this is probably from a club chest so I have not named this shire yet and this is what it looks like without any color changes to the mane and tail so it's just this very lovely liver chestnut um, shire with white leg markings and it's also got like the same kind of like I don't know what to call these, like these white eye markings. They look like little eye holes, like maybe inverted eye holes. I don't know. These are just like weird markings. I'm not a fan of the marking, unfortunately. 
Uh, but I'm also not a fan of the yellow mane and tail. It, it just looks strange. Like, it's so yellow, it doesn't make any sense. So I originally, I turned it off before because I, I wanted to show this horse to you guys on my video. I changed it to this kind of like gradient chocolate brown and way better. I really think this is a big upgrade to the horse's appearance. So I'm actually really glad I could dye the mane and tail. Lovely horse. Just, yeah, we got to get rid of that like really strange bright yellow mane and tail. It kind of doesn't make sense either. Like it's, it's so yellow. Yeah, I think this was probably like the last outstanding horse I kind of got. But even then, like it's got the same like golden yellow mane and tail. Has it got the same eye color? No, okay, it's just blue. So yeah, I had a few horses kind of come through. I'm going to leave this fenced area, by the way, because it is kind of blocking the way. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cute Arabian. Um, oh, speaking of the Arabians, I think the update may have fixed their turning a little bit. Don't quote me on this. I might be wrong. Um, I was riding one of my Arabians earlier and I equipped agility tack on it and it felt like it definitely was turning much sharper than it normally would, but let me know in the comments below and just share with us as well. Like, do you guys think they fixed the Arabian? I think they did. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any Arabians that I'm currently riding or training, so I can't like actually tell you if they're fixed. Because um, yeah, none of my Arabians are trained. The highest level Arabian I have is actually my first Arabian, I think, Silverwind who's level 19, but it's been so long since I've actually ridden this horse. Um, but yeah, still, still chilling. I remember that, I actually remember getting this horse. I think it was during one of my first videos. And if anything, you know, this horse is still pretty as ever. Really, really like Silverwind, but I just have so many horses to ride. Okay, so let's jump into today's video because I wanted to continue the storyline for the Fall Quest because I need to see what's happened to Cheddar. I want to know what's going on. I just want to know what's happening next. And if anyone is kind of wondering, like, hang on, Dashabella, you promised racing. I am not going to be able to do racing for this video, but big, big, but I'm going to be putting a racing guide for you guys together next week. So I think the racing guide is going to be split into either two or three parts, probably two. We are going to be doing a beginner guide to show you guys the basics of racing and all the important stuff you need to know. And then after the beginner guide, I will be releasing a more advanced guide on how to actually race really effectively because I've spent the whole two weeks racing and I'm starting to understand like even some of the shortcuts. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but there are a number of shortcuts on these tracks and I don't see a lot of people using them. And I hope you enjoy the series as well. So looking forward to making that, but without further ado, let's do our quest for today. And uh, we actually need to, oh, that's not my quest, it's this one here. So we need to speak to Farmer Jean. Farmer Jean? Farmer Jean? What is our next quest, Farmer Jean? Howdy, stranger. Been a while. It sure has. I'm glad to see you, FJ. Oops. Oh gosh, I missed that one. Training? Why do I need to train? Cheddar is going to be so fast that other riders will be knocked off their horses when we ride past. You ever heard of a sonic boom? You just wait. Well, I sure hope you don't knock me off my horse. <laughs> just stay behind me and you'll be fine. I love your enthusiasm. You must be excited to pick up Cheddar from Athena. You betcha. It won't be long now. Sorry, FJ. I'm getting a call. Are you busy? No, I'm just visiting Farmer John. Why? Come by the ranch. I have a surprise for you. Ooh, I love surprises. I'll head over right now. A surprise from Athena? There you are. Finally. Remember this little guy? That's not... That's not Reggie, is it? He's so big and so handsome. Is that Reggie? Oh my gosh, is that the tiny little brown ball? Oh my gosh, he does look handsome. Like I told you, I only breed the finest horses. But how is it possible that he's grown up this quickly? 
classified secret. Come on, Athena. I'm really curious. You know what they say about curiosity? Okay, fine. You remember that cactus you collected for Farmer John? How could I forget? I'm still picking prickles out of my hands. Well, the spring water seems to affect all sorts of plants around Evervale. There's another rare fruit that I've discovered that makes falls grow up extra fast. Wow, that sounds really useful. I still can't believe this is the same lost foal I chased around half of Heartside. Can I ride him? Funny you should say that. There's a cross country event today in Redwood. It's an exhibition event that I've won every year for the past five years. I'd go and win it again today, but I've got too much work to do here. So I want you to go and win it in my place. Make me proud. What? What? We, Athena. Athena, what is this? Oh my gosh, it's Reggie! This horse, oh my gosh, he's so handsome! Reggie! I can't believe this is the little foal that we actually chased to the farm. Oh my gosh, look at Reggie! And he's got a short mane and tail as well. Foxy. Dear Foxy, when are we getting access to these new mane and tail styles, please? Okay, so we are riding little Reggie here. And he's actually not too bad of a horse. He's got really good stamina. Oh my gosh, I'm not looking properly. But really good stamina. And yeah, he's just cruising. I mean, I don't think I'm doing any other work here. It's actually poor Reggie. Wait, okay, hang on a minute. What, what do I mean by poor? Reggie's fine. He's doing great. Horse is kind of fun though, but I have to say, Reggie... Can we keep Reggie? <laughs> I don't think we can, unfortunately. I've seen people complain that um, like all the horses for the Fall Quest are not... We can't keep them. They're just part of the story, which is so sad. I would really love it if we could have at least kept one of these horses from the Fall Quest. Because the fact that it even exists, it makes me believe that we will be getting breeding in Star Equestrian. Like, it just makes no sense to have a quest for breeding and then just to not add it. Um, and also because, like, Horse Riding Tails has breeding. Oh no, I'm sorry, Reggie. Um, yeah, Horse Riding Tails has breeding and a lot of the stuff that we get in Star Equestrian has been from um, Horse Riding Tails. So I'm kind of wondering, like, when that will and what that would entail for us as players like is it gonna be gem locked <laughs> i hope not oh my gosh reggie made that look so easy reggie we got gems as well for that too nice oh hold on i'm falling i'm falling we did it we won the race the what oh yes that's great but gosh darn it while you're away, Cheddar ran off again. Oh no. Did you check the barn? Of course I checked the barn. There's no sign of Cheddar anywhere on my ranch. Oh, for Pete's sake. It must have escaped the yard entirely. But how? I fixed the fence. Cheddar loves to jump. Probably jumped clean over the fence. Listen, Dashabella, you wanted me to count on you? Well, here's your moment. I need you to track down Cheddar and bring it home safely. Get out there and show me I chose the right person for the job. Where would I even start? They could be anywhere by now. Recently, Cheddar has liked the ocean breeze, so maybe they went somewhere over there? Ocean breeze, I mean, that's a little obvious. We have Finch, oh, hello. Okay, we're riding Milk Drop. Oh gosh, okay, you're not very happy. Well, I guess. I guess we should go for a little bit of a stroll with Milk Drop. This game is funny sometimes. You think you ride one horse and then turns out you're riding a different one. <gasps> There's little Cheddar! Cheddar, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Dang, it's locked. I'll have to find the key to get in. Uh, what? K key? Where? Oh my gosh. Well, let's see how we're going to do this. Excuse me, have you seen the key to the windmill? Key? What key? My foal ran into that windmill over there. But a gust of wind blew the door closed and now it's locked. I need the key to open it and rescue Cheddar. Oh, that key. 
Why, sure. I always keep the key to the windmill over there on that fence post. Well, uh, it was on that fence post. Oh, that's right. One of them bluebirds took off with it one day. Cheeky thing plucked it right off the post and flew west. No way. Do you have any idea where it might have flown off to? As a matter of fact, I talked to Harry a couple weeks back and he mentioned that there was a whole mess of bluebirds hanging around the Heartside windmill. If I was looking for such a thing, that's where I'd be starting. Um, this is definitely a interesting quest line. So a bluebird weeks ago flew off with a key and is hanging around a windmill? <laughs> what? Okay, whoever at Foxy is writing the quest line for this game, they're definitely having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> Alright, let's head over to the windmill and see if we're just going to be able to get this off the bird. I swear, if I have to chase this bird, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. Alright, here we are. Attempt to enter the windmill. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Another locked windmill! Just my luck. Is that a key dangling from that windmill blade? I bet it's the key to the windmill. Cheddar is trapped inside. I need to get inside this one first though. Hmm. That's right. Arthur spoke to Harry about it recently. I wonder if he knows where the key is. Harry, do you know where the key to the Heartside windmill is? Oh, hello Dashabella. You won't believe this. A bluebird swooped in and took it just the other day. Those darn bluebirds are becoming a real problem around here. What is it with these bluebirds? Why are they so obsessed with keys? I think they're attracted to shiny things. Well, I hope they stay away from my money then. Do you have any idea where the bird might have taken the key? I heard there's a bluebird nest over by the town hall. That would be my best guess. Okay, so it's on the church, I think? Yeah, the nest is up there. Alright, so I know I can technically just fly up there, but I'm going to do this quest as if I just have a regular horse. In case anyone's watching the video and like, you guys also want to figure out how to do the quest and you don't have a pegasus. And this is pretty simple because uh, I have been on the rooftop of the church before and all it involves is just a little bit of jumping. So, I jumped in. Okay, you can jump in from that flank over there. So, if your horse doesn't have a lot of jump. Just, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, then. Head over here. Oh, can I not jump up here? Okay, I'm just going to slowly climb and go to this plank. Oh. I don't know if I should be doing this with the horse, but anyway. Jump. Beautiful. Here is the nest. One key down, one to go. Better get out of here before any bluebirds come back. Alright, so this one's done. Let's head on over to the windmill and see how we're going to get the key down. Oh my gosh, from that windmill over there. Those windmill blades are spinning so fast. If I try to grab the key at this rate, I might lose my arm. And I'm rather fond of it. I wonder if I can stop the blade somehow. Let's open the windmill. Perfect. And we need to somehow stop the blade. Let's see if we can do that. This is pretty, pretty windy going up here. We're at the top. Oh, there's a switch. Okay, perfect. There we go. It's just stopped. All right, so we need to walk windmill blade hello just so, just so you guys know i'm playing on computer and i'm gonna find this pretty difficult i can't imagine mobile players having to do this okay there we go there's the key and we can save cheddar don't worry cheddar you'll be free soon enough i'm on my way we're coming cheddar we're coming to save you Okay, let's get this door open. There we go. Do we need to go? Oh my gosh, Cheddar, what are you doing? Hey, wait for me. And my horse runs off too. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know if this 
birthday. Emperor, not you too. <laughs> what is this? I summon Emperor back? Okay, there's Emperor. What was that? Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. So did Cheddar just randomly go back? I don't see that little rascal. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so glad to have you back, Cheddar. I was worried sick. Thanks to you, Dashabella. I mean it. Wait, where's Cheddar? My pleasure. But I didn't do it just for you. I was there when this little one was born. I see them as one of my own. I know what you mean. Look, I want to tell you something, but you must promise to keep it between us. I promise. You are right. I've grown very attached to Cheddar. I'm not sure I can give the fall to Farmer John anymore. Oh dear. But he'll be so upset. And he won't pay you. You need the money. I will find another way. I always do. Where's Cheddar? Oh, Cheddar was there. Wait, did I just not see Cheddar and I was blind? I'm pretty sure he wasn't there to begin with. Oh my gosh. Little Cheddar. But actually, this is a good opportunity for us to just look at Cheddar because I remember last video when we did the fall quest, we didn't really just get to look at the fall. Oh my gosh, I love the colour of Cheddar. Look at this little guy. He's such a beautiful colour. He's got Dappling. He's got, I think, what looks to be Sabino. Especially on his face as well. A pink muzzle. And then there's a black horse who, I don't know who this belongs to. So, I guess this is a sign on what's to come for the next quest. But... Yeah, oh my gosh, Cheddar is so adorable. I'm not going to talk here. I think we're going to have to end the video, but we will continue the quest line in our next video. And we're going to end this video with cute little Cheddar because this is a rare opportunity for us to actually just hang out with the foal. Oh my gosh, he's just so adorable. And he's smiling. <gasps> he smiles. Okay, this is just so cute. I can't, guys. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much, as usual, for spending the day with me as we play Star Equestrian. I'm just loving the fall quests, just learning more about the horses, finding out that Reggie grew up and he just became so handsome. I'm looking forward to Cheddar growing up because Cheddar already looks like such an absolute stunner of a horse. I really, really cannot wait to find out what happens next. As usual, everybody, if you're enjoying my Star Equestrian series, do consider leaving a like on the video so I know you guys want to see more Star Equestrian. And I hope pets come out soon because I'm also really excited to see the pets. And I'm also just curious to know, like, how the pets are going to be. How much are they going to be? Is it going to be VIP exclusive? Will everyone be able to buy pets? Maybe they'll just be coins. But I think that's a bit of a dream. So anyone that might be new to the channel, hi, my name is Dashabella. I'm a virtual equestrian VTuber and I play a whole bunch of horse games on my channel. I do predominantly play Star Equestrian on my channel, but I am slowly adding more horse games to my catalogue. So if you're keen to see more horse games, do consider subscribing to the channel so you can get future notifications for all of my future uploads. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!